What's up guys on Silent Majority TV back again with a quick video. And I was going through and looking for photos from people that are outside of the flat earth research. People that have just taken pictures for what you know for random reasons of mountains or anything, you know, just long distance photographs. Okay, people that wouldn't even be would be outside the realm of flat earth research. Okay, so what I found here was an image that was taken in on July 2004. Okay, this was an individual that had taken some type of trip uh, on a BC ferry. All right, British Columbia, something like that. This is a photo she took of, you know, of one one of the boats that she was on. You know, one of the ferry boats. Okay, so basically, I was looking at this. And I found this when I was looking for photos of Mount Rainier. Okay, that's a 14,410 foot mountain, Washington. All right. Okay, so this individual was on a ride from Vancouver from Swartz Bay to Sawasan. Okay, I'm going to show you that on the map. It says, we passed by some amazing American sites, including this one, visible in the distance. This is 14,410 foot Mount Rainier in Washington State. It was actually 240 kilometers away from me, which is 149.12 miles. So that's how far it was from her when she took this picture. She actually snapped a photo of Mount Rainier. Okay, this is in 2004, long before anybody was worried about flat earth research. Okay, so I was clearly able to see it with my naked eye. We actually briefly clipped through U.S. waters on the way, but fortunately, no customs declarations had to be filled out. All right, so let me give you a closer shot of that image. And there you can see it. You can see, you know, it's a little bit faint, but it is what it is. That's the mountain. This is 14,410 foot of mountain right there yeah 149 miles away 149 miles away now if you want to take a look at where she was at she said she was going from Swartz Bay to Sawasan right and here's Mount Rainier we could do so we can assume she was probably somewhere in this section right here okay somewhere in the middle of the area you measure from there she obviously was looking off to probably the right side you know looked and she was able to see this mountain mount rainier of course i'm getting 153.95 miles all right but we don't know where exactly she was at they could have been out here it could have been a little bit closer you know it doesn't really matter point is how far she was and what she saw okay this is back in 2004 all right probably at that time she probably had no idea why she was seeing that mountain Okay, nobody was considering anything about flat earth or anything like that, but it is what it is. Now we pull up the curvature chart. All right, just, and some more information here. Mount Rainier, okay, this is basic information here on Wikipedia. 14,411 feet. All right, located in Washington. Basic information, you guys can look that up if you want. All right, and let's get the curvature. Okay, so here's the earth curve calculator now we don't know exactly how high she was when she was on that ferry boat so we can do some basic adjustment you know we can just basically assume we're gonna have to assume how high she was but it really is not going to make a difference i would say at least maybe 20 foot off the surface of the water maybe less maybe a little more all right but we're dealing with 149 miles okay so target should have been underneath it should have been dropped 13,732 feet, so basically 13,732.32 feet. Should have been dropped below the curvature right there. And the mountain is what, 14,411 feet high? See that? Prominence 13,210 feet. So yeah, what, what she saw, what she was able to take a picture of right there, shouldn't be seeing that, okay? Shouldn't be seeing that. Very simple, it's just like any other observation that's being made. All right, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Quick video just to share another observation. And just to let everybody know, keep piling up the observations. Short range, long range, it doesn't matter. Keep piling them up. Okay, the trolls, the goons, all the little agents that are paid to come and harass and stalk the channels, they hate these. They hate the observations. Okay, I know because I can see what they're trying to say and what they try and say inside the comment filters. It's not going to fly. They don't like these observations. They better send a little goon out there to 
replicate what this particular observation shows and prove it can't be seen because okay, I've got other videos on this channel okay so they want to throw in refraction they want to throw in all that crap all those excuses we've had we've had a guy on a channel CBS he went ahead and I've got a video here you guys can see it I'll put it in the I'll put that video I'll put a link to that video in the description box that video basically has similar observations to this one that he does in New Zealand okay and he went ahead and he did videos in all different different seasons different times different conditions okay different temperatures he did everything okay there's not much more that can be done so keep doing these observations the more we have the better that way you can show people when you're if you're waking them up on the streets and or just whatever you what whatever you choose to do as far as telling other people about this information but observations are what you know are what we need those are that's the best tool Okay, because these people that want to try and say we still, you know, prove that we live on a ball, they never seem to provide any evidence. So the more evidence we keep piling, the better. They never have any counter evidence. All they have is text, comments, insults. That's all they have. And just a belief system that they believe NASA and they believe everything NASA says. And they don't care what we say. They don't care about the observations. And they, don't, and they say they don't have to do anything to provide any evidence of curvature. They say people think that fisheye lenses and GoPro is enough and nasa cgi and fraud is enough that's all they care about you can clearly see the wall they're putting up they're on the run okay they do not have any intention of trying to pr prove any curvature because they can't they're just going to keep riding on the same fraud that's how it works with with criminal liars like what we're dealing with here okay so just another observation okay i'll see you guys in the next video oh my i'm the unsilent majority, big mouth. Good. The unsilent majority. Oh my. I'm the unsilent majority. Big mouth. The unsilent majority. The unsilent majority. Oh my. The unsilent majority. Put, put, put. Big mouth. The unsilent majority. Oh my, the unsilent majority. Big mouth. The unsilent majority!